to the Secret Garden of Survival and uh, wanted to show you something that's starting to get a little cold out now. Fall is starting to come upon us and uh, I've got a problem now that I've had uh, seems year after year uh, in the fall, late fall, approaching winter time um, there are rats that are normally outside that are looking for a warm place to stay and also raise their babies and my barn is one of those places that they look to so um, I noticed the other day that uh, we have um, some holes under the foundation of my barn and um, I'm going to show you right here there's a hole that they dug right underneath there and um, so that is a telltale sign right there that they've made themselves a way to get get in and there's also another hole over here um, <coughs> second means of exit or entry and uh, you know I've tried to do things like uh, put peanut butter and that kind of stuff um, in rat traps the problem is that uh, there's still ants around, and every time I do that, the thing gets loaded with ants, and I don't want to have ants in my barn, particularly fire ants. So um, I'm going to show you where they go inside, and uh, we'll figure out a way to. Uh, uh, this get is them my uh, my barn where I keep all my livestock, and um, you know, I've got my my goats in here. Little baby goats and uh, my full-size dairy goats in here, and uh, also my rabbits. Um, and uh, I learned a long time ago that uh, you want to keep your food in metal trash cans. It keeps uh, rats and mice out of the food, and uh, they will sit in there and sit in bags of food and uh, not only will they eat it but they'll also pee on it and uh, crap in it so uh, your animals aren't going to want to eat that afterwards you don't want your animals to eat it so anyway uh, behind this wall or under this wall if I move this I can see maybe I'll have to add a little bit of light here um, but let me put my flashlight there but you can see that little rat hole right there um, behind these trash cans and that's my sink right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, see if I can hold this light and video at the same time but I'm going to uh, take essentially a uh, container there put it against the leg and also um, take something else like this uh, old re Furbished or <laughs> reclaimed, um, this reclaimed uh, fan cover, and I'll put this right behind it so that um, the rat only has one way to go. And um, what I'm going to show you is I'll just put a little rat trap there and um, then they have to go through where the rat trap is. So um, let's get the trap and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is my uh, my trap here. Sorry, I apologize for the bad lighting, but here's the uh, here's the trap, and uh, basically this is a rat trap because it's a huge trap compared to uh, a little mouse trap. So I'm going to show you. Um, Essentially, what this thing can do is what the uh, mouse is going to do is he's going to step on that and his little head will get caught in there. So, um, we'll set it, and uh, as they say, set it and forget it, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, be careful when you set this thing because you don't want to stick your fingers in there and get them. Um, get them in the mechanism while you're setting this because they're pretty light, pretty sensitive. So let's go in behind this metal trash can again and um, 
we will set this trap right there set the trap right there in front of the hole essentially that uh, rat has no place to go but through the trap and as soon as he puts his head and uh, front feet through that we will have a rat in the trap without any bait whatsoever. So, I came in the next day and look what we got. A big rat right there in the trap as he was climbing through and uh, there's one down probably another one to go um, so I'll reset this and we'll see if we can catch the uh, the other one because they usually come in pairs okay so I reset the trap um, next to those barrels uh, last night because I'm hoping to catch the um, the male because uh, I got the female yesterday the rat well I never expected this but uh, Apparently, tiny little, little mice are using the hole, too, to come in and out. So, uh, without any bait or anything else, it set this trap when it came through the, that hole. So, um, that was a big surprise, but uh, I'm glad it worked for them, too.